I'm Jared Hatfield, and this is Tablet Tips, Getting Organized, the fourth part in the five-part series of How to Stay Organized. This part, I'm going to talk about OneNote, what you use to take your notes. Finally, we're actually talking about notes. All those things before were mostly outside of class activities. This is where you're actually using this in class. Now, if you've watched all the other episodes, I'm betting you can guess how I'm going to recommend organizing your notes. Well, before I do that, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you might organize your notes in real life. Well, paper, if, that's real, if computers are fake life, then in real life, you're going to have notebooks. Maybe a notebook for every class, or a multi-section notebook for all your classes, and then you put a class in each section. Or you have a multi-section notebook, and you put it in each unit. And, and everybody has their own way of taking notes. There's no correct way of taking notes. Now. If you were listening to my earlier episodes, you probably are going to realize I'm going to suggest making a OneNote notebook for the semester and having a notebook for each semester and then making a section group for each class. This section group can contain sections. I generally make a general section, so let's say I have EAC 101. I'll have an EAC 101 general section. And inside this section, I'll include things like the syllabus, other random important notes that I deem not to be part of a unit. Now besides the general section, I'll have a unit 1, a unit 2, a unit 3, a unit 4, and so on, however many the class needs. For other classes, I'll, ha I'll have the same thing. I'll have a general section, and then I'll have a section for each unit. Now this is really great when it becomes test time, because often teachers continue to teach past what's on the first test. So you can simply switch from taking notes from unit 1 to taking them in unit 2. So there's a very distinct, very blatant division in your notes. Now, if you were just doing this in a normal notebook, you'd just be going, and you might make a note, but it's still flowing. This really interrupts the flow. Now, also, you can, this is individual basis, and it varies from class to class again, but inside those sections, you can make pages and subpages. In the calculus classes, I, I recommend having a objective per page, and maybe put your examples on sub-pages. For other classes, you might do a page per each day of class, or a page for each lesson, and some lessons might span multiple days, and other lessons might only be half of a day, and then you go on to another lesson. It's, at this point, it becomes mostly personal preference. The thing I'm going to emphasize here is having a notebook for each semester, and a section group for each class. This parallels the same recommendations I had for organizing your paper notes in the accordion, having a accordion notebook for each semester and a tab for each class, and how I recommend, uh, recommended organizing your files, having a folder for each semester and a subfolder for each class, and how I, recognize, how I recommended even organizing your grades, having an Excel sheet for each semester and a page for each class. Having the same organization system repeated everywhere really simplifies everything. It, OneNote is no different. I'm not going to talk about how to use OneNote in this. I'm mainly talking about how to stay organized in OneNote. OneNote's really powerful. You can print to it from applications. You can screen clip. You can use different colors. That's a different episode of Tablet Tips. Look for that in the future. As always, thanks for watching Tablet Tips. Uh, you can visit us on our website, stug at speedstug.com, and email at us. I just said the email. Email stug at speedstug.com. Check out our website, speedstug.com. Thanks for watching.